Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph and they want to know how you could reduplicate this. Well, this isn't vector lines and it's transparent. And you could maybe do something like that and engrave it on wood and get some effect. But on, he's going to do it on black granite tile on a memorial. And you really can't do this. You'd have to run in like in a black or even a gray. It's still going to show up because on black tile, the only reason laser engravers can use it is because it's polished and it's black. Well, it's really gray underneath. And once you run this, it's going to fracture the gray. You know, even if you run it really light, you wouldn't be able to tell if you had some text or another picture in the way of the sun. And I'm sure this isn't what he's wanting, but I thought I'd go ahead and show him how I created that just in case it's going to work. So we're going to grab the Pentagon tool and we're going to draw a Pentagon. I've got mine set on four inches or four side. Let's make it 80. And what that does is creates me a lot of nodes. Now I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page and I'm also going to take a line and use a two point line and start a line then you hold down the control button then hit P. So now I've got a half of the Pentagon. And because we put 80 nodes, we've got 40 on this half. Now I just realized when I did this, this sun, I have more sun here than probably needed. So you could move your line down and only do, you know, this much of the sun and still have the same effect. So we're gonna zoom in here and we're gonna grab the shape tool. And what we're gonna do, we have to do this. We have to turn this into a curve because if we don't turn it in a curve, this is what we get, which is a pretty cool effect in itself. And maybe you can even start with that and then change each one, but we're gonna convert it to a curve. Now we can play with each node. So we're gonna take this node right here and we're just gonna make a, kind of try to come away from the you know, edges and have some long and so, and this is where you'll find out if you have any artistic ability. And you can add nodes, you know, if you need them closer together or, or further apart. You don't have to do every other, you know, every one, you could do every other one. You could change it up quite a bit and probably wouldn't wanna, well, that doesn't matter if you use that one or not. Um, I don't have much artistic ability to do stuff like this, but I'm sure there's somebody out there that could utilize this and, and actually make it work. And you can always add more nodes if you need them closer together. So we're just gonna create this sun real quick. Maybe zoom out so we can put in some long ones and, and then that would all depend on your graphic. You know, when you do them not long, they look really, really thick and you know, they don't have to be perfect. You can have some short ones and long ones. As long as you kind of come out of the middle, I think it's going to work. And then all you have to do is take your smart fill tool. I've got it set on a light yellow. And there is a sun effect, the best I can do. And um, take away the outline by right clicking your mouth. And you've got a sun effect. Now you'd want to to do this on top, you could run the yellow, but might as well run it on black or gray and, and just do you some testing. I, I'm pretty sure that you can't do anything with that as far as putting it in the background. Now there might be one more way and I'm gonna make a second video on this, how you could maybe put a graphic or words in these rays. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.